and the video you just watched at the beginning, the video here I am playing again. This whole thing has been created with the help of follow path constrainer. Now, how does this follow path constrainer basically work and how can we achieve it? I am going to talk in this video. Okay, first we understand that I have done exactly in this. So watch carefully here. I have a path that you can see. This is our basic curve path that I have taken here. You can see this is the path. Okay, after that, according to my desire, I basically placed it here. After doing some end place in this way, what I have done is that the car here is already totally rigged, which means I have already made a lot of cars. There are also updated tutorials to win more than one car. For this, I will continue to make. You can subscribe to my channel for this. So if you look carefully, if I use this arrow, you will see that the tiles are basically moving here. All right, right? So you have to set it up already. Its video is already on my channel. How can you set it up? After that, basically, what have I done here? I selected this object. And here I put a follow customer and went there and I selected this thing here after selecting it. Basically, I can upset it with this. OK, now I have told you what I have already done. Now I will do it here. We haven't done that in this section. What am I going to do for now? I will remove the follow part from here and you will see as soon as our follow part is removed, the first position of our car or whatever the default position was, then what will we do? First, choose your car. After selecting the card, we will go to our tab, which you will get here. And after that, you just have to click on add object constrainer and you just have to click on follow path here. As soon as we will click on here, then now you will not see any changes happening here. So first of all, what you have to do here, you can see this is so big Our follow path constrainer. You just have to go to your target object and here you have to select this thing. If you know its name, OK, which I will press F2 by clicking from here then you will know its name. I'll control it from here. It's a good name so I can get help. I will go directly here by selecting it. Here we do not have to find such an update or look. We are seeing the car path here. As soon as I click on the car path automatically, my car comes to exactly the same position. Well, one thing you will notice is the position of my car here. I have changed it a little bit earlier. That's why it's here. If we create a new path here, then it does not happen then we have to bring our car to our path. Well, in the movie also, I will show you further. This for now, first we will see this demonstration and then we'll see that. What do you have to do after giving? Here you can see that this car is basically followed here. Now you see this walking has started directly here. Okay, now you will see that as soon as I do it a little further, then we should have gone to the accord of the car basically. But look, the accord is going, but the accord is not turning. It is like we are getting a little bent. Anyway, that's not happening. Okay, and look at the axis you are seeing here. You can basically change your card according to your access. If you also want it in access, okay, if you are not getting it in desirable access, then you can bring it like this. After that, guys, basically what we have to do here, just here you have to see all these are all access. Here you first have to click on the fixed position. As soon as you click on the fixed position, you will see that this position will be better than before. But still, this basically is not going according to what we have. Now see here, I am showing you here. Okay, so what shall we do? Here comes an option survey radius. Let's do it first, like I did curve radius. What do you know? Right now it will work, but no, Cobb radius is not doing our work. Then what is the use of Cobb radius? Cobb radius basically works that as soon as our Cobb has become radius, as soon as our Cobb is rotated, so is our object. If we open it in the same flow, then the last option that we see here is the follow part. But as soon as we clicked follow later, it was directed. Why change? Because it is basically the opposite here. If you look carefully, then our sorry axis is here. Then we have to do it here. It means that right now it is in the positive. We have to do it negatively. And the car we have is exactly will come to the same coaching. Give after that. Now you, as soon as we will increase the upset from here, you see you are perfectly following the path here. Just like our path is rotating, it is moving here. Well, you can also do like this and here, basically, you can also do animated path. Now look, you have to remove the fixed position before animated card. If you keep the fixed position enabled and enable the animated part, then your car will not run. Look, even if I am playing animation right now, this one is still running in which I had animated, but this one is not running. But look, as soon as I will click on it here and click on it where I will click on the animated part. So now look at our car. Basically, it has started to be animated here. Okay, but let's see where it has gone. 
come again from the sea. Okay, okay. And by the way, where it has gone once, okay, late sea, this is ours. This has been reached as soon as the fixed position is removed. Look somewhere here, it has reached this place, okay? If I am playing animation, then somewhere here, this is basically moving our car. Why is this happening now? Let's see this first. Okay, have we issued any position? Let's take a look at the lettuce. Yes, sir, we have some position issues here. Because of that, basically this problem here is being created by us. Okay, we will have to take care of this thing beforehand. That is basically where the original point of our car is located. Because as we click on the animated path, whatever its original point is, it gets there as if it was here. All right. Now let me explain to you that basically this is our tool, how we can use it manually by ourselves. Why was the scene set up here? That's why it looks like this. Okay, at the moment I enable this position, then our car will reach exactly where it was before. First of all, okay, I come here. And in this way now, I will tell you one or two more things here, that if we have to use something manually by ourselves, then how can we use it? So first of all, what will I do? I take any one of the cards here. For example, this is the card I will select it. And here I will do the select object. And here I will do the control and open a new file here. Okay. After opening a new file, I will delete them all. After deleting, I will paste the card that is here so that my car will come here. After that, I will press Shift S and here I will do concept to select it. And then our one will come here on origin in this way. So first of all, we need basic here to use the follow path, a path. So from here, I will take any path, Shift Depress. And here I will take any path. For example, I took this path here and I will rotate it a little bit like this. After rotating something in this way, you will see that our path is perfect. It should be 19 degrees. If it is not 19 degrees, then we will do it. Make it bigger for the scale a little bit and go to the added mode. Press the tab and we'll extract. Something is fine in this way. So at present, I am also making this path here. Something in this way. And now I want the vehicle to follow this path of ours. So first of all, we will go to this, which we have made here. The basic relationship is an empty. So after going here, we will add in constraint follow the path and as soon as we will do for the follow path we will see any changes you have now but as we will select our nerve pass in the target object which is our car basically that not according to whatever our park was or curve was or whatever it was the accord has changed all right so what do we do first let's see in which position he is sitting basically perfectly then he is sitting perfectly in z-axis right now let me offset it once is our offset carriage running yes by offsetting our car is not running here so why is this happening? Late C we check, but once we will also check minus. If our car is getting offset in minus, then our car is not getting any offset even in minus. After that, we go here once, radius P and PE. Okay, then now we check. So if you look carefully, then you will see some small option here. Look, this is showing you that the exit origin of the vehicle was somewhere here and it is not following it yet. If you look carefully, it is following it here in some other way. So at the moment, if I do it 19, then the car we have has reached somewhere here. Look what I'm going to do somewhere here. Let's see if it's going right now. Yes, now it is going right. Okay, it is going right still. Its private point is somewhere else. And what is the card? It is somewhere else. So what will we do? We will do it a little bit further and match it exactly at the center. Whatever comes to our basically relationship line, it comes to the center. I will go to it once. I will see where the line is coming or this line is coming somewhere here. And now you will see now if I play the star. Now you will see that this perfectly accord of the star is going on. Watch carefully, okay? Now look at you. I will tell you one more thing. I will tell you here. I will cut any video and explain a few things to you. Look, my point started to work, but the real problem that could have come with you the same real problem has also come with me. And basically the problem that I used to face here, I showed you the same problem here. Because this is the real problem that you face, is how this crooked RAM of ours is going. And if you look at your crooked RAM too carefully, then how to fix it? You have to see which line comes to you. Where is this line? Wherever this line is, first you will do it at its center in the same way. And as you will do it at the center, after that, if you run the offset or you keep the offset at zero or you will change the sixth position to zero. 
Leave it off, don't stay ticked. Even if you do animated part, this look will work perfectly. Well, if you turn on the fixed position, then this will not work for you. Fixed position means that our basic offset is running. Offset will work if you turn off this position, then the animated part will do your work and then it will start running accordingly. Try way, okay, get it. I slept. Hope you must have understood well how we use the follow path and the other thing guys in our basic advanced course we are covering all these things and things in depth. How we make TED videos and so on and we have a new course coming up. You will learn what is above the body and you can achieve such cartoon videos which are basically baby videos. We'll be help off with that so we'll go to our website and check out once. So that's all we get for this video till then in the next video keep your attention bye bye. Take and stay home guys and we love you all.